Hey, this is Nate Woods back with another episode of the Business Owner Speaks Out. I'm here with Larry with Roots. So, Larry, uh, just introduce yourself really quickly. Tell me a little bit about Roots. Well, Roots is a, is a creation of a real estate investment that actually anybody can invest in instead of the um, typical real estate investments. If you want to invest in a REIT, there are two options. Either you can go on a, into a public REIT that's trades on the public markets and, you know, those trade like a stock, not like a real estate. And I'm a true believer in real estate. I think real estate gains value. And uh, at my age, I've never seen it stay down. You know, if it goes down a little bit, it always comes back up. So um, what we were looking to do was create, there's a mode around real estate, right? So if you want to get into a REIT that's not a publicly held REIT, that's a real real estate investment, you have to, in most cases, not all, but most cases, be a what's called an accredited investor. That means as an, as an individual single person, make at least 200 grand a year as a as a married person, 300 grand a year, or have more than a million dollars in net worth, not including your house. Um, that's somewhere around 8% of Americans. <laughs> so 90, 92% of Americans don't qualify to invest in most real estate. And then they go out and make a mistake and think they're gonna buy a rental house or two rental houses. And everybody tell, oh, it's easy. Just go out and get a rental house. Well, it's not that easy. The home you just bought with 10% down, if it's a rental home, it's gonna take 20% down. And the income from your rental home, the bank is not going to look at that as part of your income. It has to be able to be made off of your regular nine to five. So, um, you know, when people get done with that over a few years, the reason people go back out of them so quickly, not that some aren't successful, is the earning rates really three to 5% is what you're going to make. If the thing appreciates it, you're not making money operating. So we wanted to create something for people who wanted to have a portfolio of real estate that they didn't have to touch, they didn't have to manage, they didn't have to do it. But instead, they could invest as little as $100 or as much as right now a million five and put that money in in three or four minutes on a website. So it would make it nice and simple, just like going to Robinhood and investing or Acorn or whatever. Uh, build a recurring account that you can invest each month if you want to. Like, you know, it's probably the best way to build wealth is to hide the money from yourself. <laughs> Have 50 or 100 bucks a month go into a good investment, you know, a fund, or whatever else. And so, um, we wanted to build that. And then we wanted to build something a little more unique, uh, both commercially motivated and community inspired uh, for people who, who like to give with their wallet and their heart, let's say. So for example, the biggest issues in rental property period, I don't care if you're a thousand door owner, a hundred door owner, or you got two properties. It's not all about location, location, location. That's important. But locations can upgrade and downgrade. It's about people, people, people. It is about the resident who pays the rent. No rent, no money, <laughs> right? So mm -hmm. we wanted to recognize that, that the renter is just so valuable. Why are they not included and able to sit at the table? So we built something called living it like you own it. Our residents actually don't have a security deposit. Instead, they take their, what have been a security deposit and they invest it in the fund. They can see it sitting right there. Fund made 16% last year. Our targets are between 12 and 15. Um, our typical resident right now has over $2,800 in their wealth builder account when the average renter in America has less than $650. So we just saw a chance to really engage that resident, get them to be part of the part of the solution, not the problem, and to build wealth for people who really rarely get an opportunity to build wealth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's awesome. So you, you talked about kind of your target market. So not the accredited investor that has, you know, a million in assets somewhere. You're really looking to help these renters that are, are trying to get in and trying to save money on the ground floor. Yeah. So a resident, a person with a million in assets and a home and so forth, isn't going to live in a Roots property, but they, but we have many of them invested in the Roots fund. Okay. okay. Because when we first started, we were not a Reg A fund, which is an SEC regulation A fund, which is what allows us to take non-accredited investors, those 92%, and let them invest as low well as $100 to start a portfolio. So we went out to people we knew before, and we started to just talk to people and tell them the story. And you know, people really love the story. They, like I said, give with your, your wallet and your heart. Most of the things that we invest in from a charitable perspective are either a giveaway or they're what we call concessional. And I've been involved in both of those where, you, you know, yeah, I'll invest. 20 grand here and I'm going to only make 5% and I can make more money somewhere else, but this thing's making a difference. Yeah. I really like the idea of investing money here 
in making 12, 13, 14. Now, so far, I've made in two years over 36%, right? And and making a huge impact, not a small one, huge, like a helping a renter, a resident, increase their savings account four to five X in the first year. I mean, that is huge. So um, what really some, one of the beautiful things about it is that our, our team who manages the properties, most property managers are in an adversarial relationship with the, with the resident, right? Hey, you gotta pay your rent, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. Well, since our program is built on a very simple premise, pay your rent on time, be a good neighbor, you know, just be a good neighbor. Don't have the police called on you. We're, we're workforce housing. And then lastly, every quarter, do a little quick video, like a 45 second to a minute and a half video. Let us see how the property is. Show us if there's a problem that needs to be fixed. Don't let a little leak under the sink keep going that can be fixed for 50 or $100 when two years from now, that's a mold issue for 5,000. Yeah. Well, when we got this started, we thought maybe 50% of those people would do the video part. We'd probably be paying rebates. So, so here's the point. If you pay your rent, if you're a good neighbor and you do the video, you get a $50 a month or $150 a quarter rebate of your rent into that same wealth building account. So if you get a $1,400 rent and a $1,400 deposit in your wealth building account, which is the same as a security deposit, <laughs> the year, if you've done all four of yours, you'll have $600 and get a $200 bonus, that's 800. You've got 2,200 plus the lift. If, if it runs at the same historical numbers, you'll be at 2,400 bucks the first year. That is four times the average savings account of a renting family. That's enormous. It may not sound like a lot to business owners watching this. Yeah, you know, you think, ah, it's a grand, like, a big deal. Well, if you're living your life at a 60 or $70,000 income level, and you got like $70 worth of expendable income at the end of the month and only $600 in the savings account, you are one issue away from homeless. Yeah. We are moving them two, three, or four issues away from homeless. And so it's yeah. really, really exciting to, to see that get developed. Now, our credit investors love the fund too, because there are no fees to get in. Very rare. Most, most of these funds, if every credit investor who hears this knows what the fees look like and knows what the general partner takes in the waterfall and how the average REIT makes nine or 10 or 11%. But that's only because the general partner got a nice slice all the way through. And it's yeah. one of the reasons we can make these returns is we're not taking that slice. So um, we, we have both, we have, we have people doing their first ever investment in real estate. Most of our residents have never owned real estate. So if you go on the website, there's actually testimonials. You'll see some very proud people talking about, hey, I own a portfolio of real estate because it, it's not like they own just a, a piece of their house. They own a piece of the house and every other house they have. Yeah, so they're in the portfolio, and um, it's, it's really remarkable. About eighty-three point seven percent of our residents, every month, every quarter, are getting paid out their rebates and building their wealth. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you had a decent amount of business experience before you went into Roots as well. So I want you to think back on that some too, as you're answering this, as as you look to build and develop your team, both and Roots here and with your previous teams. What are you looking for in employees? What what do you need them to have to foster that positive and productive workplace? The number one thing I think is to is to have someone who wants to be an owner, not an employee. So at Apco Holdings, where I was before with the Easy Care brand of service contracts, we operated and operate at Roots in an inverted pyramid org chart. So we put all of our C level people on the bottom because that way you are looking up at the people who work above you, not down on them, and you're enabling them instead of directing them every minute. You know, empower them to make good decisions, to be, to be strong, you know, so you want people with that attitude, first of all. You want somebody who <clears throat> has a deeper cause in life than making 50 grand or 100 grand or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me, as Simon Sinek and Start With Why says, you know, you have to have a, a big why. So every single employee, since Simon Sinek's uh, big TED talk came out in 2008 or nine, every employee ever hired by, and I apologize if you're hearing the uh, yard guy just jumped into my place. Um, oh. I think it's on every Zoom meeting. So anyone who's been working from home knows how this works. But, um, every employee watches two videos before they can be hired. 
and then comments on these two videos and tells us, this is true at Roots too. One is start with why, one of the biggest TED Talks in history. And the second one is called Heroes. And it's a TED Talk by a guy named Alex Sheen who runs a nonprofit called Because I Said I Would. And what that piece is about is how important personal accountability is. The top-down accountability, fine. Everybody needs a little bit of push from the from the boss, right? But no one likes it. I mean, they like to know what their job is and be able to deliver on their job. Now, peer-to-peer -peer accountability is powerful. Yeah. But the number one accountability, I wear a bracelet that says, because I said I would on my arm at all times, have since 2015, unless somebody asked for it and I give it to them and I put them in the world. And it's about personal accountability. And so I, I think you need somebody who, when they see that video goes, I love this. I love this. I, I do what I say I'm gonna do. And what we talk about then is, well, not always, none of us do, but we teach them using some of Alex Sheen's principles, how to do more of what they said they're gonna do. Like don't overpromise. be real about what you can accomplish. Do not take on a task that you cannot complete in the time frame you said you're going to. So number one is, is a good independent thinker that takes pride in doing the things they say they're gonna do and who wants to be an owner, not somebody's employee. That's a really key piece. That's awesome, that's awesome. So you've seen a lot of business people, you've dealt with a lot of business people. If you were gonna start a new business today in the current economy, what would your number one piece of advice be for a new entrepreneur? Well, we just did it. So <laughs> we, we started Roots in 21. That was about uh -huh. the, actually funny thing is the economy was pretty strong, right? And lending rates were still very low and the market was very tight. Um, and I do think the economy has changed and shifted. So, you know, one of the first things is, is to, one, make sure you're starting it with the right people. Two, don't assume the concept you have is going to win. You can know it in your heart. You can believe it in your heart at Roots. We are absolutely certain. And we're when we first started. We, but, but we talked about it for nine months. Right? This guy named Scott Jacobson, Dana, and myself, we, we talked about this for nine months. And then when we launched it, we didn't just go out and start buying a bunch of properties. We went out and talked to people to see if they would want to play in a process like Roots. Did they want to help people build wealth? Did they want to invest with their wallets and their hearts? Did they want to be engaged in something that is commercially motivated and community inspired? And... Um, you know, we held some small webinars with friends. We went out and, and met people we didn't really know. The response was overwhelming. So make sure, in my opinion, is make sure you have something that not only you think is a good, cool idea, <clears throat> something that maybe some other people think is a cool idea, you know, would invest in it. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. That's awesome. So how can people connect with you or learn more about Roots and possibly invest with you? Well, and very simple. Investwithroots.com. www investwithroots.com. We know that's working and explaining the program very well um, because on Monday, 400 people hit that website off, off of a landing site. Um, it, we partnered with Morning Brew to talk about it a little bit and 400 people hit that website and over 16% converted into investors. So they must have understood it. It tells the story well. You can reach me at Al Dorfman at Easy, excuse me, not at Easy Care, at Al Dorfman <laughs> at investwithroots.com. Or call me on my cell phone at 404-732-5910, which has been on my business card since we had cell phones. And before that, my home number was on it. And my wife, Kathy, has always said, you're out of your mind. I said, really? Well, how many people really call? Well, today with Investor Roots, quite a few more do. But, um, <laughs> feel free to reach out. I, I answer my telephone. I don't, you know, unless it says spam. And I know they're, then I know they're going to try and sell me a service contract, which is not what we did at Easy Care people cool. <laughs> awesome. So my last question for you today is, as you continue to grow and develop the business, what is most inspiring for you? Seeing people build wealth that never had a chance to do it. It's not even a question. We will help a million people grow wealth. That is our objective. And it sounds insane, but we already have almost 10,000 people on that platform. We already have over 1,300 investors and we already have 100 and with all of our properties getting ready to go into the fund and everything else, about 167 homes, people, human being families who are building wealth. And that's just a scratch the surface. We just tested it. Now we're about to go blow it up.
That's awesome. Larry, I really appreciate your time sharing your story and a little bit about Roots with me today. Again, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure.